What's up guys, TechRex here. So in this video, I've got the iPhone 13 Pro. We're gonna pop it into a clear case. This phone is brand new, no cracks on the back. Check it out, beautiful Sierra blue color. And we also have the new, or should I say old Nokia 3310. We're gonna see which one survives better in the ultimate durability drop test, guys. We're gonna be dropping both of these phones down, popping it in this clear case, and seeing what happens when we drop them down about 25 stories down. So check out that bottom. Look at just how deep that hole is. We're gonna see what happens. Let's get straight to the point and see how that ceramic shield holds up. First of all, guys, we're gonna be dropping the Nokia 3310. It works, it's on. Let's do it in three, two, one. And now the 13 Pro, dropping it in three, two, one. Tons of bangs, let's get down and see what happens. There it is, completely on its own, guys. Let's go ahead and check out this condition of this 13 Pro already cracked in the back. Let's take a look at the front. Still recording, I think it recorded. The actual front display is not even cracked, so the ceramic shield did a really good job there, but the back is shattered. The phone actually survived and it still works, which is insane. We found part of the Nokia 3310. Unfortunate to say, guys, it did not survive, so the popular myth is actually false. Look at this, the phone, Casing is completely ripped apart. Look at these buttons, guys. Why was everyone hyping up the 3310 to be some crazy indestructible phone when you got this going on here? There's the Nokia 3310, guys, actually looking pretty good. So it's just missing the battery, which actually fell right there. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. Pretty good condition. Finally found the last piece of it, the little casing. So I think, hey, maybe we could do like Lego blocks and build this thing back together. 13 Pro survived, guys. So we're gonna do it one more time. The back is cracked, but we're gonna pop it back in the case. Slow-mo feature once again. We're gonna test out this new functionality, the new camera quality, and just drop it down, see if we can aim at the very bottom and do one more drop test. So guys, let's go straight into this and see what happens one more time. Now we're gonna be dropping it vertically, guys. Let's go ahead and do it in three, two, one. That definitely hit the very bottom. There's the iPhone 13 Pro. Let's go ahead and see the condition of this phone. This is the moment of truth back is still cracked even more so so now you can see there's glass that's fully peeling away let's take a look at the front the actual camera oh apple's just leveling up year after year it's incredible we just have one small little corner crack right there at the bottom but looks like the phone still works final drop test guys let's go ahead and do it in three two one That was probably the loudest drop test ever. There's the 13 Pro. Let's go ahead and see the condition. So the back still cracked. Let's take a look at the front. The moment of truth, it's cracked a little bit more, but the phone still works, guys. This is insane. We've dropped this phone three different times. The phone is still perfectly working fine. The iPhone 13 Pro went through three different drops. The entire back is just shattered. Horrible condition. The front, a little bit cracked, still works. Ceramic shield held up, guys, which is insane. The case flew out both times. All three times the case did fall off. Nokia 3310, one drop, but it turned into this big Lego set, so we could probably build it together pop it in, make it work, but that's it for the drop test, guys. Just wanted to show you just the insane durability of the 13 Pro, just to show you guys three drops, I mean, 20 stories down, and you do got a crack in the front, but this phone still works. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay tuned for more videos. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.